Reading Japanese is hard, but with Yomi-chan, a lot of that pain is taken away. But even with the reading itself taken care of, you still need to learn and review new vocabulary you encounter. Well, Yomi-chan makes creating Anki flashcards simple as well, which means that the only hurdle left to tackle is the motivation to open up your web browser and get started. I can't solve that last one for you, but I can help you get Yomi-chan set up quickly and show you how to create the perfect Anki flashcards with just a click. So let's get started. Yomi-chan is a Chrome and Firefox extension. It shows you definitions and readings of Japanese words when you hover over them while holding the shift key or a button of your choice. You can even install multiple dictionaries, so you could, for example, see definitions in both English, Swedish, and even Japanese to Japanese definitions if you know where to look. There are also slang dictionaries, kanji dictionaries, and pitch accent dictionaries. All of these can be combined to get a ton of information. With the help of the Anki Connect add-on for Anki, you can even add those definitions, including the sentences from which they came, directly into Anki decks, and in a format of your choosing. It's a combination that no Japanese learner should have to live without. Let's set it all up. First, find Yomi-chan in the Chrome or Firefox web store by searching Yomi-chan on Google or by clicking the link in the description of this video. The first thing we want to do is to stop the welcome guide from showing up every single time you open your browser because it's kind of annoying. To do that, click the settings button here, find the general section, and turn off this switch here. Show the welcome guide on browser startup. Now that we're in the settings, we need to get a few dictionaries. The main dictionaries you'll be using can be found on the Yomichan website for free. You can also install proprietary dictionaries if you own a physical dictionary like this one. For those of you interested in using a Japanese to Japanese yes! dictionary like the one here, there's a link in the description containing many different ones that you can try. I personally prefer the Sanseido Super Daijirin, but give a few of them a shot to see which ones you like best. First things first, do not unzip any of the dictionaries after you've downloaded them. To install them, go back into settings, click on the dictionary tab or scroll down to it in the older settings page and click configure installed and enabled dictionaries. Import the dictionaries from wherever you downloaded them in their zip file format, and you're done. Type 1 into this little text box here if you have a preference for which dictionary you'd like to appear first. And that's it! Yomi-chan is ready to go. Hover over any Japanese text in your browser while pressing the shift key and voila! You can even listen to the audio for many different words. Shinogu. The next things we want to do are create an Anki deck with a format we like, install the Anki Connect app, and configure Yomi-chan so that whenever we click this little plus button, we suddenly have perfect flashcards. I'm also going to recommend installing the Anki add-on edit field during review close so that you can quickly edit your cards while reviewing. This is great for if you like to add other information to your Anki cards, like I do here, with extra kanji info. First, we'll open up Anki and go to Tools, Add-ons. From here, click Get Add-ons and type in the code 20554921159 to instantly install Anki Connect. You can also check the link in the description to get more information about it. Next, we'll grab the add-on edit field during review close. Again, click Get Add-ons and enter the code 385888438. We now have edit field during review close. Now, we will create an Anki deck and format that will be perfect for importing new words from Yomi-chan. First, we will click on Create Deck. Name it anything you like and move on to the next step. From here, click on Tools, Manage Note Types. Click Add. I recommend using Add Basic Optional Reverse Card. This allows you to choose at any time whether you want to have two separate flashcards, one with English on the front and one on the back, or just one card with the English on the back. If you know for sure, 100% that you want cards going in both directions, that is, a card with English on the front and the Japanese in the back, and a card with Japanese on the front and English on the back, then go with the basic and reverse card. From here, we need to add some special fields. Click on Fields. You'll see one front, two back, three add reverse. We're going to add sentence, sentence no word, reading, and kanji, which is optional. You could also name this other if you prefer to add other information here. If you'd like, you could also add an audio field, although I prefer not to have them personally. Now, you should experiment with what kind of fonts and sizes you want for these fields later, but here are the settings that I recommend on the screen now. 
click on cards and type in the information you see here. You can also find all of this code on my website, which I'll link below because I'm not allowed to put HTML in YouTube descriptions. Sorry about that. The most important thing to note is this edit tag within the brackets. This allows you to use the edit field during review close add-on like so. Our final step is to head back into the Yomi-chan settings and set it up to create Anki cards at the click of a button. Scroll down to or click the tab for Anki within the Yomi-chan settings. Click on Configure Anki Card Format. On this page, choose the deck and card type that you just created. This will bring up the fields for your card type. You can choose the information you want to put in each of those fields. This is what I recommend. You can type them in or choose them from the drop down menu. Front will be the word you looked up. The back will have the definition from any of the dictionaries you've included with all of the little extra tags removed. That's what glossary brief is. You can choose glossary if you want all of that extra information, but it looks kind of messy to me. For the add reverse field, you can either leave it blank so that it only creates a Japanese front English back card or set it to Y so that it automatically creates one of both. If you leave it blank, you can add Y yourself to cards you would like to review in both directions and Anki automatically creates a reverse card for you. For a sentence, you'll need to type in the following. This will give you the word in parentheses within the sentence it was found. Type this into sentence no word, allowing you to get a nice sentence without the word for when you're reviewing. In the reading field, add furigana so that you can get furigana above your word instead of having the reading separate. Leave kanji blank if you added it. I'll show you what you can do with that later if you so choose. And that's it. At the click of a button, you will now have Anki cards just like mine here. Let's take a quick look at how that works. your Anki card. Easy, right? Now, sometimes you'll get some extra info or a really long sentence you don't want. With the edit field during review close add-on, we can quickly edit that out. We can also do things like this. Oh look, a new kanji for me. Let me search that on Jisho. Grab a screenshot of the kanji information using Windows key plus shift plus S. Paste it and boom, I have kanji now. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to combine this extremely powerful tool you've just set up for yourself with visual novels to make yourself into a super-powered reader of Japanese. If that sounds interesting to you, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss it.